that'll be received and just what are your feelings about the Cavs honoring him twenty eight? Um, I mean he's a great player when he was here. Um in my eyes he was a good teammate. Um he wanted to help us win the championship, so uh, I think it'll be good. Joe, were you disappointed though that he wanted out of here? Uh, yeah, I think we all were, but I mean, he felt as though that's what was best for him. So, I mean, you gotta respect it. Do you look at Boston as a different challenge than they were last year? Maybe a greater challenge than you viewed them last season? Um, not really. I mean, honestly, I mean, they, yeah, they have Kai, but last year they had Isaiah. Um, I mean, Avery and, and Goran, I mean, give or take, they obviously bring different things to the floor. You know, Goran's a better offensive player, but uh, obviously Avery's a better defender, so pretty much, a, you know, you could say wash there. Um, I mean, nobody really knows what the – people are expecting good things from Tatum, so I don't – I mean, I, he's a rookie, so I can't really, you know, go there with him. Al's going to be Al's pick and pop guy doesn't really roll as much and so I mean Jalen has obviously gotten better so uh I mean I think they're the same I want to say the same team obviously because there's different people in different jerseys but I mean I don't really pose a, a big as a big threat to us how difficult um the challenge will it be to defend Kyrie when you've seen him every day in practice and all that um, I mean, it would be extremely different. We just got to put bodies in front of him, and uh, hopefully he, he dribbles so much he gets tired, and that's pretty much all you can do. Sarah, where are you right now with, with your role on this team? We heard your comments on the Road Trip podcast. Now that the season is here and you're ready to go, just where are you with it right now? I accepted it. That's about it. I mean, I'm just looking forward to getting out there with the team but instead of preseason and just playing. When did you come to terms with it? Um, I mean, I've been come to terms with it, but uh, I mean, after I played with the second unit, after I've gotten a couple practices in it, uh, I, again, I shocked myself that I can still do more than just run and catch and shoot. So I get to make more plays with the second unit and uh, just have more fun playing. Do you feel prepared if LeBron can't go? I mean, do you you've got so oh, he's going to go. <laughs> he's going to go. Trust me that. I don't care what he got to do. He's going to play. <laughs> is that because it's open and night because it's Kyrie, or why do you think he's determined to play? Just because he loved the game. Um, it's different when, you know, obviously preseason and regular season, we are talking about it. He's never missed a – since he was eight years old when he started playing, he never missed the first game. So I think I, I'm prepared for him to play. Yeah, the collective attitude of this group going into this season, how does it compare to last year? Um, I think it's, it's, it's hungrier. You know, last year we were in that. A lot of people used to like to use honeymoon stage, so we are pretty much gloating and being, you know, uh, wasn't taking it as serious, but now we're back hungry. We got a, <clears throat> a bunch of, you know, new guys who want to be successful.